In this video, I'm going to be telling you about the awesome power of observation types. So in MedAccess, this is a discrete data field, and you, you'll see it on the right hand side of a visit. You know, this is where you put in people's blood pressure, maybe there's some buttons to check, it pulls in labs, check boxes, that kind of thing. Each of these are observation types and they're very easy and incredibly reliable to report on. So I, I think that it's about the most important thing for reporting and for managing screening efforts. So typical examples like I was showing you are the blood pressure, the height and the weight. Um, but I'm going to tell you about drop downs as well. So We'll get into this by going to Templates, Observation tab, and then Types. So, an example of a drop down. This is what the observation type looks like. And I know there are lots of scary stuff here, but the most important things are these, the things on the top. So the observation name, that's what you're going to see on your visit or wherever you put the observation template. And the data type, the most common ones are numeric, and those are ones like blood pressure and weight. And then there's also drop down is probably the other most common one that is used in ASAP screening. And over here is what's called the managed list. And so that's basically the items that exist in that dropdown. And I'll show you how we get that to appear there. So we're going to create a list where we have items on the list that we can select to report on. So how you do that is you're already at observation types so go to lists and then manage. So here you're naming your drop down list. And I always try to name it what I'm going to name the observation type as well so I don't get myself mixed up. So I'm just going to label this too because I already have one just like this here. So tobacco use drop down two is what we'll create, and then you hit the the plus. Return back and then look for the name of the list that you just created. So if you open it up, we're going to add items to the list. So these are the things that you will see in the drop down list. So you type one in and add to the list. If you make a mistake, don't worry too much because you can remove something from the list by checking the by unchecking the active box in case your items change. And now one of the most important uses of these drop downs for ASAP is the recording of screening offers, including the patient deferring or having a medical exclusion. So you can see when I add these items, they automatically go in alphabetical order. So to make them go into the order that you want them, use the sort column on the right. And I like to put them with 10 in between to so go up by tens just in case something happens and you need to add something else in later you can squeeze it in and you won't have to erase your whole thing so if I hit return it has reorganized itself into the order that I want to see it on the drop down list So now we've created the list. 
but next we need to create the observation type to attach it to. So we're back in observation types and we hit plus new. So as I said before, I'm going to name this the same as I named my list so that I don't get confused. So the data type that we're going to be doing is a drop-down and the managed list, if you start typing it'll bring it up and we made number two. So once you've created this, you update or save whichever is in the bottom and then you're able to insert this observation type into an observation template. We won't go into that in this video, but again, you'll remember what that looks like when you have the observation types in a visit or an investigation task or anything. It'll be the items on the right hand side. And these are incredibly flexible in MetAccess because you can have something that exists in one template and you can have the exact same field exist in another part of the EMR. And the important thing is all of the information falls into the same basket, no matter where in the EMR the item is. And that's a very powerful feature that MetAccess has that some of the other EMRs fall short on. So that is the power of observation types.